Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we've got a special topic for new powerlifters. Um, we're going to be talking about choosing a powerlifting federation, including what federations are out there, what are their characteristics, and what should you consider before you choose uh, your own federation to lift in. All right, so on the board, I've got three of our main federations in the United States. These are by no means the all of the federations that we have. We have plenty of them. I just decided to take the three largest federations or most well-known to talk about here today. So first we have Powerlifting America, which is the federation that I happen to compete in. This is the IPF affiliate, which is the International Powerlifting Federation affiliate with the United States. It's a recently newly developed federation. Then next we have USA Powerlifting, which is one of the more well-known federations and offers very high-level drug-tested competition in the United States. And I should also mention that Powerlifting America, being an IPF affiliate, is also going to be drug-tested competition. And then finally, we have the United States Powerlifting Association, otherwise known as USPA, which offers a little bit of both. They have drug-tested um, meets, and then they also have non-drug-tested meets. I will say this is the only one that I have not competed in myself, but I have coached lifters who have gone and competed in USPA, so I'm at least familiar with how those meets are run as well. Okay, so before you choose what powerlifting federation that you're going to compete in as a new competitor, you have some things that you need to consider. The first and maybe the most important is going to be your personal goals, right? Each federation is going to be different in how they run the meet, where you get a chance to compete, and what level of competition that you're going to be competing against. So as an example, for me, I want to compete against the best power lifters in my weight class on a level playing field, meaning that they're drug-free lifters. So I have made my decision based upon partially that goal. Now, you may have other personal goals, right? Maybe you just want to have fun. Maybe you have friends in another federation that you want to compete with. Maybe you want to move as much weight as possible. So you want to use the equipment that allows you to do that. Those are all things that you need to take into account when you're making this decision. Um, another good example here is travel, right? Some federations have opportunities for international travel. You see these flags behind me, these are um, representing places I've gotten to go to compete myself, and part of that is because I've competed in the IPF and the IPF affiliate that allows me to go to other countries to compete. Next up, we have drug testing. This is a big deal because you probably want to compete against a level playing field, right? And I have no qualms with anyone, whether they're drug-free or an enhanced athlete, as long as they're competing fairly within the rules, right? So this may be a big deal to you if you are drug-free and you want to compete against other people who are probably drug-free and getting drug tested. Maybe this isn't a huge deal. You know, if you're just lifting for fun, you could do a non-drug tested event and still have a blast. But understand that you might be competing against some unfair advantages. But if you're competing in that federation, do not complain about it, right? Because that's what you sign up for. So drug testing is a big thing to take into account when you're choosing that federation. Next up, you've got equipment and rules. Now, generally speaking, the rule books for Powerlifting federations are all going to be very similar, right? The standards for squat, bench, and deadlift should be very similar. Um, 
your attire should be very similar. But there are small nuances to take into account when picking your federation. And then equipment, if you are considering USA Powerlifting or Powerlifting America with the IPF, they're going to use the same bar across all three lifts, right? So there is no such thing as a deadlift bar in those competitions. But maybe you're a lifter who wants to lift on the deadlift bar, then USPA might be a good decision for you so that you get that different equipment. So understand that. And then lastly, and this is important, especially for new lifters, your area, right? A certain area, wherever you live, may only offer certain opportunities as far as different federations and competitions that you could sign up for. So don't limit yourself and not power lift because um, the competition in your area happens to be USPA or USAPL, right? Go lift by all means. And then once you get more serious and competitive, you can travel farther to compete in these bigger meets. So this is something not to overlook. And I do want to mention one last thing before we wrap up here. Choosing a federation has turned into a cult-like experience for lifters lately, right? People identify as USAPL lifters. They identify as USPA lifters. Um, some people will talk trash against different federations and vice versa. There's been a split in the IPF and the USAPL as of late. I think it's all silly, right? At the end of the day, we are just lifting weights. Consider your own goals, right? Do not feel like it's signing up for some frat club. And you can compete across federations unless your federation limits you from doing that. And do not be afraid to do that. So if you make a decision as a new lifter, that is not do or die. You can always go and enjoy other experiences. And I just want to encourage that because at the end of the day, most of us don't make big money from this. We're doing it for fun. Um, so choose your federation based on yourself and not what you think people will think about you or some club that you think you're going to get in. Okay, so that's a little bit on my perspective of how to choose a federation for yourself. I would suggest once you choose a federation, do lots of research, right? The more research you have under your belt, the more set you will be to go into that competition for the first time and have fun, which is what's most important. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, everything down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Happy lifting.